Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn about customizing the workload automation client color scheme and welcome window. There are a number of things that you can do to customize and personalize the appearance of the workload automation client to meet personal preferences or site standards. In this video, we will cover the welcome window, the client banner color, the environment banner, and the background colors for client sessions, such as in the monitoring and planning domains. Amongst other things, these settings can be particularly useful in helping users that access multiple environments know at a glance which one they are logged on to. We'll now go to a version 9 workload automation client. Here we have a default configured V9 workload automation client. We see the default banner at the top. And if we click on the signpost icon, we see the default My Home page. Let's for now close the workload automation client and move on to the Control M Configuration Manager or CCM, where we can change the My Home page banner color and description. Here we have an open Control M Configuration Manager. We now need to access the system parameters. This we do by right clicking on the Control M EM item in the component tree view and dropping down to system parameters. From here you now select the advanced option and now you need to find the parameter called getting started customized URL. If you now double click the appropriate record, the Control M EM update system parameter window opens. In here, you need to change the value of the URL of the page of your choice. For instance, something really useful like bmc.com. You will notice a refresh type of recycle. We need to cycle the GUI server to make this change active. Next time the user logs on, they will get the new welcome page. We'll now save the system parameter. And while we're in the CCM, we can see where to set the banner background color and title description of the environment. Here we see in the System Parameters General tab the option to set the banner color. So let's set the banner to bright yellow and in the environment title we'll put UAT and in the description we'll put acceptance test. And if we now hit close and we are prompted to save our changes, so we will save them. It should be noted, the settings we just made in the CCM are system-wide for all clients using this EM server. You don't need to cycle the GUI server to make the banner changes active. We do, however, to make the welcome page change active. So let's now cycle the GUI server. We'll now log on to the workload automation client so that we can see the changes we've made. Having recycled the GUI server, we've now logged on to the workload automation client. Now we see firstly that we have the bright yellow banner and environment description. If we hover over the banner, we see our logon user, server name and the description we entered in the CCM. While we're here, let's go and have a look at the new My Home page that we set in the CCM. If we click on the signpost icon, we can now see that my home page is now set to bmc.com. Okay, let's close that now. Now we're on the client, we can adjust the color scheme. If first of all, we select file, then we select options, and then we select map we see four discrete fields for setting the background colors for the planning, monitoring, 
history and forecast workspaces so if we just select some different colors for these doesn't matter what we select just a random selection of colors for demonstration purposes and now if we hit OK and go to the planning domain and open a workspace we will now see that the background color is set as we defined previously it should be noted that as of version 9 fix pack 1 the color schemes for planning monitoring history and forecast are all saved on a per client basis an enhancement to allow the centralization of color schemes will be considered for a future release. Thank you for your time. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance in the future.